Whoever thought that Jason Todd was dick? Well, apparently Roy Harper did. Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're talking about Red Hood and the Outlaws Annual Issue 2. That's right, fans. Now, if you're wondering if this continued off of the last issue of Red Hood and the Outlaws, it absolutely does. Um, in a way, you know, I don't think it's necessary that you must read it. But it is a fun read. This book does go for $4.99. And uh, the artwork in the book is pretty good. It's not my favorite artwork, but it is solid. And it definitely gets the point across. But very simple paneling and whatnot. But good action scenes in the book. So what happens in this issue, okay? Well, we wind up seeing uh, Roy Harper and Jason Todd. They're on this particular island. And we wind up seeing... Jason, who is beat the shit based off of the last fight that he had with Batman, okay? And so he's recovering, but Jason Todd's form of recovery is still, even with a broken arm and black eye and all busted up, he's still trying to shoot his guns, he's still trying to train, and we see Roy Harper trying to make Jason rest, okay? He's been, he's been that friend for him, okay? And... What makes this issue good is that these are friends being there for each other. And I think that's cool. And Jason Todd hasn't been there for Roy Harper. And he maybe should have been there more for him uh, within the past, I don't know, how much time has passed. Okay. So we get to see Roy come within peace with himself. And then we get to see, uh, and, and we get to see him deal with his alcoholism as well, where his sponsor is Killer Croc in jail. So he sees a hologram of Killer Croc and they're talking to him with his alcoholism and stuff. It's really a cool moment. And and Killer Croc is like, if I do anything in my life that's worthwhile, it, it, it was helping you. And that was a good moment. And Jason Todd actually is coming to grips with himself too uh, as he does his recovery and whatnot. So basically a month has passed since the fight with Batman. And we get to see Arsenal and um, Red Hood, they actually go into a little job that they have to do about some uh, opioids that ha was bad. And the shipment has gotten people sick and I don't know how many people were sick within a past month or whatever the case may be. And it had to do with Susie Sue. Okay? But then all of a sudden we have Susie Sue's sisters there. We start this, this, this crazy battle with the sisters and our heroes. We get to see cool dialogue in here with uh, with um, arrows, which is always fun to talk about. And at the end of the day, Susie Sue recovers from whatever injuries that she had. The two heroes wind up feeling for each for the for Susie and saying, "You know what, guys, just don't do it again." And they wind up leaving them alone, uh, which is kind of kind of cool. And then at the end of the issue, we see our two heroes actually depart ways, uh, or they part their ways. We wind up seeing that. Uh, Roy Harper is actually going to go to AA. He's going to, you know, get back on the wagon because he's fallen off the wagon a whole bunch of times. And um, he invites Jason to come with him. And he's like, nah, you know, that's for quitters. And they just start laughing at each other. And he's like, you're such a dick, Jason. And it was just a really cool moment between uh, best friends. And uh, I love that moment in this particular book. And uh, that's how that part of the story ends. Then we wind up seeing what happens with Artemis and Bizarro as they get shoved through that door, right? And they go to a different world, obviously. They reunite with each other. That was a nice moment. And then we find out they're in some, obviously, some alternate universe where they are walking into the hall of not justice, but punishment. And that's how this issue ended. So what did I think about the annual? I thought the annual was really good between two best friends. And I think that's what made the issue worthwhile for me. It was good character moments. Is it necessary to read this issue for your story going forward? Maybe not so much, but at least here you do find out what happened to Artemis and Bizarro. How long will they be stuck there? We have no idea at this point. But 
Um, and we looks like that Jason and Arsenal will not be together going forward in Red Hood and the Outlaws. He's going to be with somebody else, obviously with his new costume and everything else. So really cool book. I, I did like it. You know, for an annual, he gave you something here. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give this book a four out of five stars. Emotional moments for me. So guys, in the comments below, tell me what you thought of this book. Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Do you don't buy annuals because they cost too much money and you think the stories are worthless? And guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss a single video from me. And until the next comic book review, fans, this is Mike Spicer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.